This year, the, the Grammys that, that were awarded to me were Best Regional Mexican Song, which is the fourth year that I've won that same category. I've won it with uh, Christian Nadal twice uh, in the past, then one with Van der Recodo, and then this year it's been with Karin León and Matisse. Yeah, and the other one is uh, Best Mariachi Album with Nodal, which is also like the third time, I think, that we win that same category. La receta es seguir haciendo la música como se hacía antes, pero modificándole un poquito en las letras, hablando un poquito más como hablamos hoy en día. If you listen to my lyrics, my lyrics are very simple. They're like very like the way I talk or the way you talk. I want to make a connection between the listener and what I'm feeling. What I'm trying to do with regional Mexican right now is uh, like take away the region, regional word of it and make it, you know, like Mexican music where we don't get classified as something that we are regional, that we are small. A mis compas bien hartos traigo ya. Me dicen, güey, ya la tienes que superar, pero yo no puedo. The success that we had with Botella Tras Botella, we broke all the records that there were like an original Mexican song. And that was like the first song to ever chart, like in Billboard Hot 100, for example. And we didn't get a nomination for that. Whenever you do songs like Botella Tras Botella, not 100% mariachi or not 100% norteño, it's really hard to classify it in, uh, in the categories of the Grammys. At the end of the day, we're still fighting and, and you know trying to get a spot on the major categories, which are like Song of the Year, Record of the Year, and Album of the Year. Yes, we got a nomination for the American Grammys, yeah. When I was talking to Camila about it and Ricky Reed, the producer that brought me into the project, we were trying to make it sound Latin, but make it natural. She is also a huge fan of salsa music. And when we sent it to Ed Sheeran, Ed Sheeran was like, man, what, like, what is this? You know, like, never done something like this before. So I have the voice notes that he was sending. I want you to do this and record this. And he would get the guitar in and do like, you know, the, the whole line of the guitar. It makes my, my, my job a lot easier. Whenever you have an artist like Ed Sheeran, you know, taking control of, of the arrangement. So I remember, December 24th, sitting in my computer and my family was like getting together and you know getting ready for Christmas dinner and I was like trying to finish the track. And it's special that you know that the Grammy is taken into consideration for the nominations and, and I'm just happy and excited. I hope we win, hopefully. <laughs> I just uh, established my my record label. The label is called Border Kid, and there's this band that I'm helping with the development called Grupo Frontera. They have this song, No Se Va. It's gone viral. It's doing like crazy numbers, and I just want to go back to my hometown and support, you know, a local act and try to, you know, put it out there in the, the rest of the world. Oh, 